Hi there. When I look at a map, I'm curious about what I will see there. This is one reason why I walk and how I found St Ken Elms Well. This wall separates Winchcombe Town from the site of Winchcombe Abbey, founded in 789 AD by King Kenulf of Mercia. But what has Winchcombe Abbey and St Kenelm's Well in common? The legend of Kenelm was first recorded by monks and tells that Winchcombe Abbey is the last resting place of Prince Kenelm, son of King Kenelf, who was the King of Mercia. When he was just seven, his wicked and ambitious sister had him murdered whilst he was on a hunting trip in the Clent Hills, which is southwest of Birmingham. St Kenelm's Well is reputed to be on the route that Kenelm's body took to Winchcombe Abbey. According to the map, I need to turn down Castle Street if I want to go up to the well. So here we go. So we're just walking up towards the well now. Uh, there's some nice little allotments over there. Everything's starting to grow. We just come out here to the cottages that are owned by the castle. And uh, rather than walk straight up the road, we'll uh, go through the parkland and walk up towards the castle and then back on the road. It's um, not too inspiring just wandering up the road. Uh, we'll try and do that then. Uh, a nice uh, spring scene. Sheep with their lambs in the grounds of the castle. Right, I think go up this track here, up towards the castle. So we're just coming up to Sudley Castle car park, as you can see, completely empty. Uh, obviously the castle was shut because of the COVID-19 virus that's sweeping the world. Uh, this is uh, filmed on uh, the 21st of March, uh, just after Boris Johnson shut all the pubs and clubs and gyms and that. Uh, but I thought I'd do some filming today and then they'll give me something to do if there's a total lockdown. The castle itself is uh, quite a lot of history with regard to uh, the monarchy in uh, England. There is a chapel there that the Queen of England is uh, buried in. Obviously Henry VIII's wife Um, so we're going to just go up through here, out onto the road again, and then wander up towards St Ken Elms Well. You can tell the springs here. There's some uh, lovely drifts of cowslips. In the castle grounds. Okay, just going to go through the gate, turn right, and head uphill. Let's just come onto the road again, and uh, this is the castle gatehouse. Pretty impressive. Just coming up here, I spotted a recess in the wall. Obviously, there was some sort of fountain there. It's a trough at the bottom. Uh, there's a hole there, so I assume there was a pipe that came through with a fountain. Right, let's go. Still walking up the road, the road to Guiting Power. Just come past this uh, farm building. Quite impressive. Looks really old. I don't know if it's uh, the real thing or not. It looks like it might be. It's a bit of a gargoyle there. Yeah. 
Yeah, the bricks look quite modern, so uh, I suppose it could be a hundred years old or something like that. It's uh, quite a nice building. Right, we're heading up towards uh, that house there, and then we turn slightly left and then go into the fields. I'll bring you back when we get there. So the map says that there should be a footpath just here to the left. There, that's uh, where we want to go. Um, just need to go through this uh, kissing gate. Because uh, of the COVID-19, I'm trying to make some sort of uh, provisions. So I've been wearing uh, gloves to use to go through the gates. And then uh, obviously I'll uh, sanitize those when I get back. It's much easier than just doing your hands. Hopefully that will protect me a little bit from the germs that should, may be on gates and things. So when coming up here, it's always nice to stop, turn around and have a look at the view. So this is uh, Sudley Valley. There's a Winchcombe. And over there is Breeden Hill. And uh, the well is up, unfortunately. So let's go. A little more about the legend of St. Ken Elm's well. The remains of Ken Elm were carried by monks. Some say that the monks came from Worcester and some say that they came from Winchcombe. Anyway, wherever the cortege rested on their journey to Winchcombe Abbey, a spring reputedly gushed forth. Writing states that the cortege arrived at Winchcombe Abbey and Ken Elm's sister tried to curse the body by reading her Psalter, but her eyes dropped out and she died. Hmm, legends. Back to the wells. Only two are left, one in Clent Hills and one at St Ken Elm's Well, just above Winchcombe, and the one we're visiting today. The site of the well has changed over the years mostly by the owners of Sudley Castle. It's been enclosed around 1570 by Lord Chandos and additions have been made to it in 1887 by Emma Dent. So we just entered the compound of the well. The figure above the door was added to the well house in 1887 and shows a crowned and seated saint with a sword and scepter and a date of 819 AD. And uh, we'll just go inside and have a look around. We'll just go inside and have a look up. There's a the well there, the water coming in, and then there's some inscriptions around the outside. On the north wall, the words say, O traveller, stay thy weary feet, drink of the water pure and sweet, it flows for rich and poor the same, then go thy way, remember still the wayside well beneath the hill the cup of water in his name. On the east wall, the inscription tells you about the well and how it has been developed over the years. On the third wall, there's an inscription to three brothers and that the water was a gift to Winchcombe inhabitants. It's uh, quite an impressive little structure, really. Right, just have a quick look round outside. It's all the sheep. It's a nice view across the valley. I hope you've enjoyed my video, my trip to St Ken Elm's Well. If you have, 
why don't you subscribe hit the bell then you'll get notification of any new videos that I make I will also be producing a view ranger route of a walk up to St Ken Elms well also the long distance walking association site has a St Ken Elms way walking route it's 80 kilometers long or 50 miles and starts in the Clent Hills southwest of Birmingham to the Abbey Terrace in Winchcombe sounds like a walk that I might like to do and I'll see you soon